Welcome, Welcome to, to Chess Is Not, not just, just Stuff. stuff. Cue Woo! the intro music. Bam! The world is not just stuff. Chess is not just stuff. The world is not just chess is not just stuff. Wow. All right. Unbelievable music. I can't. Impressive. The production level on this show just keeps getting higher and higher and higher. You know, sometimes I think, how did we do that? How did we do that? <laughs> like the film, filmography, cinematography. We now are, it's like us and Nolan. And it's it's a close. And it's a close. close it's a close. It's tie. close one and two. Yeah. Here's the deal, guys. Welcome to Chess is Not Just Stuff, where we play a 10-minute time game of chess. Answer your questions. Drop some in the comments here below on YouTube. Tweet at us. Make sure you're following us all those places. Yeah, I mean, like and so, smash the like button, smash, smash the, the subscribe button, smash the smash notification, that notification bell. bell. It's gonna be, it's gonna be. I mean, chess is going to be played. Chess is gonna be played. Questions are gonna be answered. Right. And um, no promises hey, as to the quality of just either of, those of either. Remember, right. you can see the scores for the head to head here. Right. Ish. Right. Right now, it stands. What's the score, Ben? I forgot. So right now. <laughs> right now, Brian is up one to nothing. Classic chess rules. If we get a draw, yeah, let's explain that. Yeah, if, if we get a draw, we each get half a point. Mm -hmm. That's how chess is played. Yeah, and uh, and who, of course, whoever wins gets one point. The other gets zero. So yeah. All right, Ben. Well, we're gonna we're gonna play indefinitely. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Timer's wait a minute, going. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Your time is ticking. No, the board's set up wrong. People, oh, I said, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm not. kidding. Are you kidding me right I'm now? Did you, you set it up? Look, give why me are my bishops <laughs> and my knights wrong? Wait a minute. <laughs> did you set this? Did you plan? We, is this content? We have wait, to, I'm playing. We have to turn this this way because the white. Oh, white is not on. Do we have to start the whole thing over? No, no, we don't. No, we don't. People Guys, love this. People love the author. <laughs> this is called authenticity. <laughs> You got it? <laughs> what Dang. a start. What okay. a start. I'm we so, promised we've played chess before. You guys, I just want to say that one of us set the board up. Yeah, and it was Brian. It was not a certain person, and it was a certain person. It was me. It was me. How many queens do I start with as a handicap with okay. our rating difference? Oh, I was about to say this is still wrong. That's right. Wow. We're good. We're good. Wow. We're good. We're good. Wow, Harry Potter. Okay. I've had a cadaver. All right. A Play some chess, my guy. You, dude, you're going. Okay, here's the thing, Ben. Our first question today is, what if Elijah and Enoch are the two prophets in Revelation? I don't know. Like, what if, though? I don't know. Uh, I didn't ask this question. This is a weird question. I, I remember seeing it and thinking, I hope Brian has a good answer to this. I don't. Because I don't. Um, we are post-millennials. Yeah. That is our first eschatological view. And... To be brutally honest, I don't know where the two prophets thing fits in to the post-millennial perspective. I haven't wow. looked at that aspect of it. Next question. Okay. <laughs> There's a, that's actually quite a disagreement. I think when the man comes around, Doug makes yeah. a case for certain. Anyway, whatever. I listened to the when the man comes around, so mm -hmm. I only remember like a good 20% of that okay. commentary. So the, the next question, which is, wow. Question two. Was the Transfiguration a time travel event? Okay. Your so thoughts. I Have you heard of this? No. Okay. Like that they time travel back and Moses and Elijah are there? No, no, no. Because that doesn't no. actually work. No. That, okay. You know how uh, Moses and Elijah are taken up on the mountain and God is like, I will show you, you know, my back. Yeah. Uh, right? I just read that. Right. So the, the idea is that... Uh, when that happens to Moses and when that happens to Elijah, it's also happening at the same time during the transfiguration in the New Testament. And the, it, what they're saying is that the, that's the reason Michael, uh, uh, Moses and Elijah are there because it's all the same event. And it seems to me like completely <laughs> dumb. I can't emphasize enough how stupid that sounds. Uh, no disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> you know Your mean? idea like, is completely dumb. Hey, no disrespect. No, because no, it, it's not like just one idea that one person oh, sent in. It's, I heard so I saw it on good. Instagram too the so other day. Good. Like people were talking about it. They said it was their it was it was their Bible fan fiction. Okay, my answer to that is definitely that is not the case. That's not what happened. <laughs> There's here's no, the reason. Absolutely no that makes the, no sense. We're excited. I made it up. There's absolutely <laughs> no reason to conclude that. Right. Other than you just being 
strange, weird. Well, it's for also, no reason. Uh, I think that there's more compelling reasons for Moses and Elijah's presence on the trans at, at transfiguration mm -hmm. uh, that are more like typological. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so I don't think you need a time travel situation going on. It, it doesn't seem to help things. Do we need time travel? No. We just don't. This is what, <laughs> this is what yeah, like in the eternal counsel of God's decree, he was mm -hmm. like, okay, do we need time travel? <laughs> do we need time travel though in this sense? And I, and I think the answer is a swift no. Brian's calculating. While he's calculating, I'm going to ask you guys, how's everybody doing today? Yeah, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are... Let us know in the comments below. Are you guys doing well? Oh, hey, I forgot to say, same rule as last time applies here. Uh -huh. If someone is able to email us, because we found out posting... You can't a, post it Yeah, posting a chess.com link on YouTube for some reason is impossible. Um, so if you email us or like DM us on Twitter yeah. or uh, or send us a message on Instagram, mm -hmm. we will pin you and then you also comment on YouTube. I guess there's nothing really in it for you. Just someone analyze the game, please. Analyze the game, chess.com, send us the link. Because we're not going to do um, it. <laughs> you'll notice that I started with black, which means I'm a move behind and I just undeveloped my bishop entirely. He's breaking opening principles. By the way, if I'm Magnus playing a Catalan it, opening, textbook Catalan. If Magnus did it, if Magnus did it, nobody would fuss. Stockfish would say plus 100. Here's the next question. Genesis 14.5, did Keter Leomer fight giants in the valley? N not in the valley. I don't, well, I guess he could have. Did Keter Leomer fight giants? The people want to know. Okay, so I, I think that there were some giants in the Jordan Valley in Genesis 14. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason that I think that is because it seems like Abraham teams up with a couple good giants. Okay. When he says seems like it that I mean that. There's no reason to think that it's absolutely true, but it does seem that it, way. Remind me of the, the It's evidence the it's Ma it's Mamre. This. It's the it's the Mamre guy. The Oaks of the Mamre. Oaks of Mamre. And he like in um I think it was like Mesopotamian myth, he mm -hmm. was a giant. And so the idea is that Abraham teams up with his sons, his two sons, mm -hmm. and they seem to be at least neutral mm, okay. in in the big grand scheme of things, if not overtly uh, like benevolent yeah. towards Abraham. So does it say like, and they were giants? No, no. But does like, it say that they were really tall? Yeah, it does. But it I says they were I, really tall. Yes, but I can't remember the context or the syntax. Take the time that you would normally use to play this game. Let your clock run. No. Don't worry about it. Look, you know what? Look it up. Be a lot cooler if I didn't. Be a lot cooler if you did. I don't know about that. What, dude, what am I going to do, you know? Dude, what are right. you doing? I'm playing a modern defense where it's kind of cagey. It's a little bit of a cagey setup. I sort of react oh, wait, I to didn't what Ben is doing. Hold on, go I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah, I didn't ahead. finish my answer. Uh, so, rude. so I don't think that... I don't think that there were a bunch of giants in the Jordan Valley that, that Keter Leomer fought. However, it does say that the Jordan Valley residents were shocked at... Keter Leomer and his host being able to come to them because they had to go through the northern sections of modern Israel in the Gilead region where the Rephaim, the Emim, the Zumim, the Girgashites, where they were all dwelling. And we know that they were giants because it literally says Come on, so. we know. Uh, that they were descended from sure Nephilim. Thing. So uh, that's pretty fascinating that yeah. like they actually were pretty confident. The, the Canaanites were pretty confident that they were going to be all right. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, the the kids are not all right. The kids are not okay. You know what I'm just, saying? They're not doing well. Who's winning it's right simple now? Simple as. It's kind of a, a good question, Ben. Who's winning? That is actually the next question. So I did give up my dark squared bishop for the night. Mm -hmm. So you're probably a little bit. Mm -hmm. The computer, I just checked in my mind. The computer showing stockfish uh, says that you slide advantage. And there's a move that I could do that would be really dumb, which would be not to move either of these pieces or advancing this pawn, allowing the fork <laughs> allowing of my pieces. Just the clean fork. Clean fork. Um, I think at this point, I'm going to repin to nothing. Right. I'm going to pin your knight to nothing. Okay. Love it. Yeah. No, Love it's a great it. move. Um, Magnus, Magnesian. This is the Magnesian <laughs> school the of Magnesian chess. Magnesian school of chess. Okay. Ben plays more of a, like a, let's say, a Hikaru, more of a. Like a Nakamura school ben of chess. Ben plays more of like a Fabiano Caruana. Like a Ding no, you, Li Ren. I'm not playing a Ding. You strike me as a real Ding. Jan Nepomnichi. Jan Nepomnichi. Dude, I'm a Kasparov guy. More of a Kasparov? I One of the greatest attacking players in chess. The Kasparovian school of chess. Okay. Whereas you are more like. Um, Who's like a really bad player? 
<laughs> shots fired. <laughs> shots fired. My guy, you know that I think you're great at chess. <sighs> you know it hurts so though when you said that. It really hurt me. All right, what's the next? Wait. Oh yeah, next. Wait, question. you didn't move. Yeah, I did. I moved my my rope. Oh, oh, what oh. is this? My bad. My bad. My bad. My, did my you B. see that touch rule? Might be. Might be. Might be. Might be. I just say random chess rules sometimes that don't apply to the situation, as if he broke them. I didn't break hey, the touch rule. Touch rule. Way. Also, touch rule. We all know house rules. We don't use the touch rule. That's Which, true. by the way, is that if you touch a piece, you have to move that touch piece. rule. Hey, and Brian and I don't subscribe hey, to that. One word. Touch rule. That's nonsense rule. It's also not one word. If I went to the FIDE World Cup, <laughs> touch rule. <laughs> touch rule. I'm just I'm just fascinating my move. position. A fascinating move. Opening my bishop. My <clears throat> bishop just came alive. So did. My bishop is alive, dude. I cannot wait for you to think that you're making progress in the position. Look at this dark square complex I have. You have a complex, that's for sure. <laughs> have some kind of complex. All right, what's the next question? The wait next question. Did you move? Uh, no, I, 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 I didn't okay. move. God. You didn't do your timer. Dang I it. mean, listen, this is not a charity. I had built up a time advantage. This is not a charity, Ben. Okay, the next question is, who is Melchizedek? Yeah, good Who question. Tom Bombadil is Melchizedek. <laughs> Actually, this is a beloved theory of Ben. It, yeah, it's one that I came up with. If mm -hmm. you've ever read The Lord of the Rings, and mm -hmm. if you haven't, shame on you. Shame. Then you know of a little, uh, uh, a merry old fellow named yeah. Tom Bombadil. Tom Bombadil. And I think that in The Lord of the Rings story, he clearly is a Melchizedek character. Melchizedekian character. Yeah, because he's his genealogy is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, okay. Hold what? on. Hold on now. It doesn't work, Ben. No, I'm saying what you did is a good move. I think it's interesting <laughs> that he also gives um, bread and wine. There's a proto-communion that's happening. He receives a tithe. Right. So like His name means the king of... King of peace. Righteousness. They're and the then Salem is peace. Salem means peace. So he's the king of Salem, which is king of peace. Melchizedek means king of righteousness. King of righteousness. That's right. That's right. So he's the king of righteousness, the king of peace. Right. And presumably, it's proto he, he's, he's a Jebusite mm -hmm. priest who is the king of Jerusalem, uh, Salem. Man, just I'm so my thirst is so quenched from this normal size. <laughs> from what this I totally average sized cup of water. Okay. You know what? Though it tastes a lot better from this mug. I don't know why, Ben. Is it that the world is not just stuff? The world I don't even know if it's focusing stuff. on this. Right it's not. Now. It's hey, probably not. get your Haunted Cosmos merch at thehauntedcosmos.com forward slash store. Wait, what did you just do? Oh, you defended it laterally. Yep. <laughs> just the latitude. Um, no, in all seriousness, Melchizedek's a really fascinating character, and I have no clue, you know, who he is. I, I Is he a thief? He, he, do you a, think he's a Christophany? Okay, uh, I have been pretty compelled by that in the past, mm -hmm. like thinking that it's uh, you just hung your. No, you didn't. Um, I've been pretty compelled by that in the past. I didn't. However, however, he thought I hung my knight. Yeah, he forgot about the queen. I also one time I think it was C. R. Wiley. Maybe he mm -hmm. had an argument as to why he's not a Christophany, mm -hmm. and I don't remember what it was, but I remember being pretty compelled by it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, which is really helpful. Yeah, I don't necessarily think it's a Christophany. I think that it could be. I think it's typologically related to Christ, but of not. Course, yeah. But but I don't. Know I don't think it was literally Christ. Yeah, because Hebrews, when he argues that he comes with no genealogy, right? Th that's a typological type of answer. Right. It's not literally necessarily saying that Melchizedek had no father and mother, and that he had lived forever. Yeah, no, not because necessarily. Then, because then we wouldn't have to have another priest in the order of Melchizedek. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. is interesting though how he is a priest to the living God, uh, and yet. He is uh, a member of the the Jordan Valley clan, yeah, so to speak. Ooh, dude, you just blundered your queen. Did I? No, because you're in check, son. Dang it! Give me my queen. Oh, <sighs> I have a dude, feeling that it's, it's about to say <laughs> it's one <G> one. <laughs> hey, I went on time. What I if I just? You. What if I just give you? Dude, my I queen. flag you. I did not even. What a that is a six hundred elo move. Okay, um, golly guys. Now, how do I make sure we I are embarrassed? Blunder it right back. We are sad. We are so not back. We are so. We've never been nice. more not back than we're not back. Team Ben fans, we've never been more so back than we are so back right now. <sighs> okay. Um, what's the next question? You, you didn't even just want this free night that I also hung moments later. <laughs> Honestly. 
Playing chess and answering uh, questions is hard. It's very difficult. <laughs> I'm not even asking. Why do we love chilies, Ben? It's the next question. Look. Why do we love better chilies? Question, Who asks that? A better question is, God. why would you not love chilies? You go in. This is the common, this is the regular Chili's experience. Mm -hmm. You go in. Yeah. You're greeted with a lovely smile mm -hmm. from someone who's probably been working there their whole career. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. very happy. They're a it. career Chili's worker. Yeah. And so they, when you're here, your family. And they're and they're living it up. Are you just gonna let the clock run down? Eat fresh. I'm just thinking about a move. Oh, okay. And then Chili's you sit down. Fresh. Okay. And right when you sit down, you know that you're home. When you're here, yeah. your family. And when you're here, and you're, you're home. home. And after that. Someone brings you some delicious chips and salsa. Yeah, right Maybe away. some uh, Southwestern egg rolls. Mm -hmm. Yep. At First any thing. rate, dude, is your night trapped? It's no, it's not trapped. At any rate, Chili's is amazing. But really the reason Brian and I love it is because one time we went on a trip to Orlando together and we tried to find a restaurant and ended up failing completely to find a good restaurant to eat. And we yep. went into one and the code was, if we go in and it's super sketchy, uh, then <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, it, and either of us doesn't want to stay. Then we'll just cough, and yeah. that'll be the signal. No questions we'll asked. Know. We'll leave. And so that happened. We went in, and there was this weird video of like a bloodied pop star singing it on was, the screen. It was bizarre. It was bizarre. I and, can't believe I blundered my queen. Ah, <laughs> check. And so we coughed, and then when we went outside, what did we see? Right across the street, a Chili's Southwestern. Wow, I just blundered my. I mean, you might as well, but it's only two points. You know, it's worth less than a rook. No, it's I not mean, two worth points. More. It's five points. I can't take your. Take it back. I can't take it back. <laughs> I was trying to get him to take it back. He won't take it. Back. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, man. man, what a ding dong. So anyway, you're so smart. We man. went to Chili's in that trip, and that's pretty much where Hana Cosmos was born. Oh yeah. And so now we plan all of our episodes at Chili's. Mm -hmm. Uh. Not the episode outlines, but we plan our like season. The season. The season. So we just out. recently picked all of our uh, topics for season three. Right. Exactly. At the bar of a Chili's, and it was because uh, as usual, when you're here, magical, your family, a magical experience. Chili's, break me off a piece of that Chili's food. <laughs> <laughs> so true, King. If touch rule, I mean Ben would have to place that night. Well, that's a bishop. This a knife. whatever. <laughs> I <can't> remember <laughs> the name of the pieces. <laughs> Setting up. A Look pretty, a pretty devastating, attack, attack there. I'm going to be honest. Can't even move the pawn. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's no way to guard it, except for like except guarding for it. like that. I could guard it, but other than that, there's no other way to guard it. <laughs> if I guard it, then it's guarded. Okay, but mm. this move does nothing else other than guard that pawn. Just right. remember that. But my queen is getting a little congested. <sighs> Dude, your queen is so congested. It's it's like it's like my your son queen this week. has a cold, right? Just like my, my son this past week. All right, what's the next question? Next question. See, hosting this is pretty hard. I ignore it. I just don't yeah. host it. <laughs> Instead, I just play chess <laughs> and still lose. Why are paranormal hotspots depicted as triangles, Ben? What is up with triangles? And did you write this question? I didn't write this question. He, I guarantee I you. I promise 100%. you. 100%. Whoever, ben you're a patron. Question. Patron that wrote this in. I can't remember your name. I'm sorry. Please justify. Vindicate me. Vindicated. I am selfish. <laughs> I am wrong. I am right. I swear I'm right. Swear I knew it all along, along. and I am flawed. <laughs> but I am cleaning up so well. I am seeing in me now the things you swear you saw yourself like hope. <laughs> dangles on a string. It's really okay. good to hear your voice. People have tuned out of this video long ago. You know ago. what? No, they didn't. Long no, ago. No, they didn't. Don't be silly. <sighs> uh, okay, triangles. Yeah, I mean, I I don't wow, totally know. Like, I, I have thoughts, but mm -hmm. they're like half-baked. Thoughts and prayers. Which usually hasn't stopped me before, but... Yeah, let's be honest. I don't know. I just... I just don't know. You know what I mean? I'm going to lose on time. Like a real man. Go out on time. Go out on your shield. You're just sacking it? No, I'm just going to win the night. I'm going to win the night. Huh? So I want a pawn. Fine. Want a pawn? I hear your voice <laughs> saying my name. It. I got to move. I got to play quick. Sounds so sweet. Look at that. Coming That's brutal. Dude, that's that is brutal. <laughs> what a brutal move. 
This is sharp. This is a sharp position. We're gonna only move territory. It's only move, guys. <laughs> <laughs> On that same trip to Orlando, Brian and I also played a lot of chess. We did. Poorly. No, uh, I think that there's like, I think there's something to the triangle thing. There's sacred geometry, I believe. I believe that it's a real uh, thing. Mm -hmm. I, w I, w I wouldn't venture a definition of it right now, but I do think it's, I do think it exists. And I don't know. It's just, it really seems to me like, it. it seems to me like you take your time. Well, think of like, <laughs> take your time, gang. Think of like the pyramids. One of the things that's, I was in check. I didn't realize it. Oh, so I changed my mind. <laughs> One of the things that strikes me about uh, a lot of like megalithic structures, Queen D4 or your your yeah. whole family dies, <laughs> <laughs> is that um, uh, I'm like barely winning, by the way, in terms of material. You're a minute and yeah, I know, 25 but, seconds up. We'll finish the game. Uh, <sighs> Oh, it's, I was I in check. I forgot to talk. I was in check. Literally, I don't know at what point I became in check, but oh, that's brutal, dude. That is brutal. That's brutal. I lose. I would Wait like. Whoa, I've whoa, already. Whoa, whoa. I've already lost the game several times, like on principle, because it's over, guys. It's been over because I lost the game by cheating. I was in check and made a, a different move. Ah, uh, whatever. Listen, look, we're really serious chess players. In case you didn't know. That is mate, but I, I don't care because I, I mated you. So I want, I want. <laughs> no. Yes. no, I flagged him. Oh. Okay, last question on river monsters: Is there a basic <laughs> solution to all of it? What, what if the monsters? I don't even get this question. What if the monsters used to be there and then left or got smaller over time by mixed? Breeding? No. So the what I, even is? So I, I oh, hold on. I was paraphrasing the question. <sighs> Knowing that I'd have to re-explain it to you because you're dullard. This was a tactic. <laughs> no. To win time. No. It was called a low time situation on my part. Okay. So the question is. Go ahead. Jeremy Wade, extreme biologist. Extreme angler. Extreme angler, Jeremy <laughs> Wade. Uh -huh. Absolute king. What a Chad king. He always is able to find some like natural explanation to the fish, to, to the monster story. Okay. He's like, it's clearly just this fish. Yeah. You know? Um, and he's like, whatever. He's cool about it. He's not like a jerk. But mm -hmm. the question is, what if he is only halfway right where there actually were river monsters? Like, are you saying like the dryads are taking <laughs> the people? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. But like, but it was a, it's always legends from a long time ago. Uh -huh. So what if over time they just got smaller because they were like breeding with other fish? Or they just left altogether. That's the question. Listen, and you're the you're the river monsters expert. So you tell us, listeners, in the comment. This question is dumb. Wow, a patron sent us that question because I don't. You think are, it's good? I'm editing this out. No, okay. this is a great question gonna. for Ben to answer. I refuse to answer because so. I don't think it's a very. Okay. Just remember, guys, the world is not just stuff. Chess is not just stuff. It's one to one. We have never been. So not back. It is so over for Brian. We have it has never been more so over than it is so over and right now. We are so back. Ben, Ben, you're currently on about a six game winning streak against That's me. That's right. Because what <laughs> you don't know is outside of almost this. every day at lunch, <laughs> Brian and I play at least one game on the computer. And it's been a winning streak. I just I roll the credits. Really happy for myself. Just end it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm so good at chess. Golly. Well, when you blunder your queen, <laughs> thinking you got danger levels, but it comes with a check. That's the thing, dude. What an idiot. Well, then that I blundered my rook. rook. If you hadn't have done that, I would have lost because I just blundered my rook completely. I, I do feel better that both of us blundered something really dumb, but mine was my full. Yours was worse. If for a full queen. For nothing. For n for a knight. For nothing. Yeah. Shame is all I got. <laughs> We didn't start the board set up right. Dude, we're genius.